Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch from Jung Hans with their Jung Hans Meister Automatic, this one with a silver dial. So in this video, full in-depth review of this timepiece. In the description will be a place to purchase this watch on teddybaldessar.com, as well as some more information on this timepiece. And at the end of this video, look at some things to consider. Who is this watch for? Who is it maybe not for? But guys, let's take a closer look. At this watch. First, again, a rundown of the specs. We have a case size of 38 millimeters, thickness of 10 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 42.5 millimeters, water resistance of 30 meters, movement is an automatic at a 28242, crystal is plexiglass, and then price $1,095. But if you use promo code Meister Auto at checkout at teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of Jung Hans watches, you can get a free strap with your purchase. Just add any strap as well as the watch to your cart and you should be good to go with that promo. Dedicated customer support on teddybaldessar.com. We also offer price match. So if one of our watches is at another authorized dealer for cheaper, fill out the form on the product page and we'll give you a call. And nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back into the content that we're creating. Being founded in 1861, Jung Hans as a manufacturer is commonly associated with the Max Bill Collection, a line of watches that we have covered quite extensively on this channel. However, shortly following the popularity of the design icon of the Max Bill is the also very popular Meister Collection. The watch that we have here today lives within that collection, this of course being that Meister Automatic with a silver dial, a classic looking timepiece which brings together some of the signature Bajas elements of Jung Hans as a brand with some other interesting additions outside of the norm, all together elevating the watch into a simple and elegant piece ready for both formal and casual scenarios. The case of this model is produced in polished stainless steel that overall has very subtle and simple features throughout, such as its slim, slightly curved 20mm lugs and the small crown signed at the 3. Interestingly, while the lugs and bezel do appear rather slim, the Meister Automatic actually features slightly thicker elements than the popular Max Bill watches. Turning once more to the aforementioned crown, this piece of the watch uses a simple push-pull mechanism for securement, being hand-wound in its first position, able to change the date at the second position and able to adjust the time at the farthest out point while stopping the second hand in the process. So hacking seconds here. The Meister Automatic is secured to the wrist with the help of a smooth dark leather strap that is held in place via a simple pin and buckle, which is signed as well. Now the lug width is 20 millimeters and will offer great variety for the different straps that you can pair with this piece. And although the strap accompanying this watch here is not bad and certainly can be added to the rotation of pairings, I would strongly recommend utilizing a variety of straps to give this piece a bit more play in conditions where it can be utilized. And if you do purchase this watch again from teddybaldister.com, definitely use that promo code Meister Automatic to get that free strap with your purchase. Moving now to the dial, we are first greeted with a slightly curved plexiglass crystal, a design trait commonly found in Jung Hans's pieces given the cleaner dome effect and lack of reflection compared to that of Sapphire. Now, I personally enjoy the warm hue that comes from this style of crystal, but if you are aiming to have this watch be a bit more casual in your collection and being able to be worn in more varieties of environments, then you can also opt to go for a Sapphire retrofitting, which you can do on our site. You just reach out to the email below. But also, I think it's just important to have an understanding of, you know, what is this watch going to serve? It definitely leans a bit more dressy. Uh, there's going to be some limitations that come with that plexiglass crystal. Uh, you just have to weigh out the pros and cons of what you're going for there. The design elements, staying true to kind of the Bajas elements, what makes the most sense to you. Looking closer at the dial surface itself, it comes in with an interesting finish. Towards the center is the traditional off-white silver that will play with the light, especially Especially underneath the dome crystal, but in this instance, it will gradually fade to a shadowed vignette Fume style dial at the outskirts. Now, this is an execution I can't say I've seen Jung Hans use quite regularly, but it is a nice change of pace and does not belittle the traditional dial design once strongly associates with the brand. Apart from this effect, the dial is very much traditional Jung Hans. A simple minute track, long thin hour markers, the printing of Jung Hans at the 12, and a step date window at the 3. Finally, at the center, the dial is topped off with a sword style handset and the dial as a whole feels very familiar to the Bajas inspirations the brand is well known for yet with this vignette style dial it's a nice differentiating factor from the more traditional dials that you'll find from the brand. Flipping this watch over we first notice the exhibition case back this element being secured via five individual screws and altogether help this watch achieve 30 meters of water resistance. The case back additionally features some engraved descriptions of the watch on its outer edge but this central case exhibition is going to be where the eyes are going to be predominantly drawn. Visible through this exhibition back is going to be the Jung Hans caliber, the J8001, which is essentially an ETA 28242. Now this movement 
despite being relatively straightforward in its finish, does have some flashes, especially for a watch of this price category, showcasing a Cote de Genève finish across the rotor and fine grain and perlage finishing throughout. However, the biggest upside with this movement is going to be the ease of serviceability and regulation. The ETA 2824 is a standard when it comes to automatic Swiss movements, being both proven and reliable with decades of a track record working in its favor. This automatic movement beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour or 4 hertz, features hacking and hand winding, so hacking, stopping the second hand when pulling out the crown to the farthest position, and has a power reserve of 38 hours. Now, looking at the range of $1,000 when it comes to dress watches, a category in dress watches that I think is unfortunately on the decline in terms of being something that enthusiasts look for is very much busy, but I think Jung Hans is delivering some of the best designs in this price range without question. The Max Bill is always going to get the top nod when looking at the brand and is probably the safest place to start if you are looking in the direction of getting a Jung Hans. But the Meister collection as a whole is one where the brand seems to have a bit more fun while remaining true to the principal design elements that the brand tries to sustain. And this one, I think, is a good combination of those things. It has a lot of the elements that somebody would commonly associate with the brand, with its case shape, the dial design, while offering some additional flair in regards to that vignette style dial and just being a bit more distinct. Great wearability on this piece, although you're getting that plexiglass crystal, which could be a downside for some other people, but Young Hans has been kind of gradually rolling out more sapphire variants of their watches. It seems like they're maybe wising up to a lot of the individuals that just prefer the durability that comes with a sapphire compared to the looks of a plexiglass. But overall, this is just another solid, attractive looking dress watch from the brand Jung Hans. All right, guys, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That really does help the channel. Also, if you're in the market for this watch, link in the description down below, teddybaldestar.com, full authorized dealer of all the brands we carry, full factory warranty. So if something goes wrong, you're not have to pay the bill for it. Also dedicated customer support based here in the US also offer price match. So if you see one of our watches at another authorized dealer for cheaper, fill out the form in the product page and we'll reach out to you. And finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate from our store goes right back into the content that we're creating. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.